Reid, and today I'm joined by Rob Morris, Senior Consultant at SEND. Today we'll be discussing the Flight Global Fleet Forecast. So Rob, tell me a little bit about the Flight Global Fleet Forecast and some of its key findings. The forecast predicts the outlook for the commercial aviation sector over the next 20 years. There are many findings, but the key ones include 35,450 new commercial aircraft forecast to be delivered between 2013 and 2032, worth an estimated $2,450 billion. Airbus and Boeing expected to remain the dominant OEMs, with 85% market share by value through the forecast period. Other OEMs still expected to deliver more than 10,000 aircraft, worth around $370 billion, predominantly in the regional sector. 43,000 commercial aircraft expected to be in airline service at the end of 2032 and more than 40% of the 2032 jet fleet expected to be operating in Asia Pacific and China, the key engines of growth over the next 20 years for our sector. Thank you Rob. And so what makes this forecast unique? The forecast leverages sends market expertise and database resource to offer an independent and objective view of the market. The fleet and delivery outlook is set out on an aircraft type and major sub variant, regional and annual basis. Put simply, what, where, when. A far higher level of data granularity than is available in any of the OEM forecasts that the industry accepts today as reference documents. Could you please explain the methodology behind the forecast? The methodology is based upon a simple supply and demand analysis. In each of three modules, we model airline traffic, that's demand, aircraft fleet, that's supply, and retirements. Each module features detailed analyses of historical trends and demand drivers to project the future evolution of traffic, fleet, and retirements in eight different geographical regions. With a projection of future fleet structure and base fleet retirements, we can estimate new aircraft deliveries annually, both through an analysis of the future aircraft competitive scenario and also via calibration using the Ascend Online Fleets Database Firm Order Backlog. The fleet by aircraft type in each region is then simply a product of the base fleet, less retirement, plus new deliveries. Obviously, it's a lot more complex than that, as there are many calculations and analysis that support the modelling, but in essence, it's also that simple. Thank you, Rob. Thank you very much for joining us, and for more information, please visit ascendworldwide.com.